right guys, this is day three with the collar and tucker. We're on the light rail here in Charlotte, so we're gonna start utilizing it with the heel work. So as always, we want no sine. Um, before in our videos, you can see that we've done that little pull release back with that leash pressure. We're gonna do the same thing, but now with the remote and collar set. So if my hand is tucker, as soon as he speeds up versus doing that pull and release, I'm gonna do a quick drag and release with that continuous feature. If he's behind me, it's just going to be a tap to encourage him to come along. If he completely overshoots my leg, we'll just restart. So I'm going to get his attention up first. Good. Heel. Tap. A little drag. And I'm going to switch directions. Tap. Good boy. So since this is a controlled environment and Buddy is friendly, I would rather Tucker end up getting a sniff of him when I walk by versus yanking on that lead or going up on that remote collar. So I still gave him that lead, tried not to fight back with him. He did get a little bit of a reward for saying hi, but we'll just repetition train this over and over so that way he can learn right from wrong in a fair way to him without that yanking crank or an unneeded pressure from the remote collar. You wanna be quick with your dog and utilize that marker. So I'm gonna tap and walk a little faster here. Drag and sidestep, turn around, because he's not responding and I let off of that pressure. I'm gonna drag and sidestep here, and then let off there, mark it with a good, and keep moving. Don't stop and hesitate. Um, just like with the leash, if you stop, they can learn that that works. So a little drag and sidestep, good. Marked it with a good reward, reward, reward. Praise the heck out of him like he's a rock star.